Hi guys, back to King Quasi, and we are here finally with episode 5 of the Fulham uh, Road to Glory slash career mode. Um, I am very sorry that it has took nearly two weeks to go from episode 4 to episode 5. Honestly, I am very sorry, but I had to deal with very personal stuff, and I, I felt like it was only right to take a break from like social media and like uploading videos in general um but as you guys know i returned back to youtube three days ago with the player ratings for liverpool newcastle and um we're back here a day with the full career mode um i'm very sorry it's been i think it was the 20th of december the last time we filmed an episode of this so it's yeah, a very long time ago. Um, hello, Rita, the very interesting name. Um, but yeah, I've basically forgot all about this career mode, like where I was on the table and stuff. Didn't realise I was fifth. Didn't realise that we are doing so well. Um, so yeah, we're, we're in a bit of a... kind of a title race. We're nearly... how many points is that off? Like, it's quite a lot of points off the title, but, I mean, top four is a possibility. Even though I wouldn't really like to get top four in the first season, but, as you can say, Ryan Kent and Edward, um, both the top squads in the league, that's just unreal. Um, I'm going to have to remind myself, though. Um, we've already got the signings coming in already, boys, let's go. Um, but welcome back, guys, welcome back. God, it, it feels like months since I, I've been on this, actually. I need to remind myself of who I had. Um, whilst I've been gone, I've been playing a Tottenham um, career mode, just off-camera and stuff. Um, sorry about the face cam, like, brightness. How do I? I don't I'm going to try and change the air brightness on my monitor. Because um, it looks a bit stupid. Uh, these sign-ins I will do, yeah, definitely. When we get them through... Uh, I just need the brightness, because picture, oh god, I do not like doing my ass at all. Alright, let's get the brightness down, so it's not b making the camera look a bit dodgy. Don't know if this is going to do a whole lot, like. Uh, it kind of helps, doesn't it? Yeah, it helps a lot, actually. Oh. Um, so, yeah, I've got some signs in. Um, what well, Southampton's the next game. By the way, our shortlist is absolutely ridiculously full. Like, look at this. There's so many players. Um, but we did sign um, Joseph Kludugayu, um American. And I'm going to sign Jesus Fierro, an American. Um, these were both cheap players, I think. I'm pretty sure they were. 1.9 mil and 7.3 million. Okay, that was unexpected. But yeah, so many players here. And then we've also got these new players coming in in the comments. Um, by the way, this stream won't be long at all. It'll be like... What time is it now? What time actually is it? It's midnight, so... It'll probably just be an hour long stream uh, tonight, and then I'll be back daily. So tomorrow night, it'll start a lot earlier as well. Um, tomorrow night, they usually never start this this early. But we've got um, God, I didn't even ask for signings, and we've already got signings in the uh, comment section. These all have weird names. Uh, left wing, twenty two years of age. Nigerian, so I'd imagine he's very fast. He looks like a fast player, so seems like a decent shout. Um, I don't know how much money I'm going to have for the next season as well, so it's going to be so difficult to to pick the players that I'm going to be signing because we won't be able to sign all of these. Um, so it's going to be very difficult to pick the players to sign. Um, we've got a... What country is that? I thought it was Morocco at first, but that's not even Morocco. Wait, is this spotlight going to... Oh, Jesus, right, yeah, that makes it worse. Alright, we'll just keep like that. Um, 
I hate to have my bedroom light on, so I, I like the stream looking like this. It looks a lot better. Um, okay, another one. Yeah, I will show show you guys the uh, Tottenham career mode as well. Joe Veeman does not exist, apparently. Joe. Yeah, there's no player called Joe Veeman um, in the game. Joey Veeman? I'd imagine this is what you mean. Yeah. I'm just taking it as this is what you mean kind of thing. Press the wrong thing there. Are you a Toon fan? Yes, I am. From Newcastle and support Newcastle. Mohammed's Boys, we can't even get into the game at this point. We've got too many players coming in. Mohammed um, up the mugs. Yes, up the mugs indeed. Bloody hell, how do you spell this? 18 years of age. I was expecting this bloke to be from like Saudi Arabia or something, not gonna lie, but he's from the Netherlands. 58 million release clothes. Jesus Christ. Okay. Joy, yeah. Uh, Alright, might have a chance to get in the game now, but we might have to stop with the players. Um, because I think. Well, main target will be James Tarkovsky for next season, definitely. But this kid's going to be like 20 million, at least, I'd imagine. So, like, that's going to eat into the budget so much. And then, I don't know, we've just got so many players we can choose from. We'll be able to assign, like, any one of these players, but a player like Tarkovsky is going to eat pretty much all the budget. So, we either get one really good player... Or like a couple of average players. I don't know how we we're really gonna work it, but right. Check. Okay, I've got another player coming on. But yeah, I honestly, don't like. So far this season, we've, we've lost fifty-seven million, which is just ridiculous. But to be fair, I don't know how I'm meant to make profit with this team. Um. And the best players on the team, I'm keeping anyway. Um. But yeah, we've only got twelve million. And not a lot of wage either. We love to collab with you on FIFA tonight. Dear man and start. Um yes, I will do that. Um we'll just pin that message so I don't actually forget about that. Definitely. Um Couple of average, yeah. That's what I was thinking, because Tarkovsky is just gonna I don't even know if I'm gonna have say 30 million next season but I do really want to sign Tarkovsky although he's he's not going to go up in rate and hopefully he stays at 80 though for a couple of seasons for um god we've got like even more players coming in here um don't stop with the players but it's going to come to the point where I'm not even going to be able to pick who to sign um how on earth do you spell this? He's 50 years old taking the piss now. He's 53 year old. How? Yeah, I was about to say I can't approach a retiring player. I was even still playing at 53. Um. Help, boys. Nice. More players. Is it this good? Romanski, yeah. 22. Sprint speed 89. Oh my god, yes. Oh, we already have him in the shortlist. Alright, I didn't realise that. Okay. Um, A centre back to have. 89 sprint speed though that would definitely help and this kid's from bloody Israel I think that's Israel but there we go 
You accent? Yeah, I, d I don't know if I did. Um, don't say I did. Right, where is he? Where is he? Did, we? Did you watch the Garcia fight? I didn't watch the Garcia. I didn't actually know he was fighting. I heard that he was having a fight. I didn't know it was today, though. Um, it's not Israel. That's Palestine. Uh, that's a new country I've learned. I thought it was Israel. <laughs> um, oh, God, what was the kid's name? I think we did stop scouting him. I'm an absolute idiot. Um... Where's this bloke? Honestly, if I buy this kid, I am not going to know how to pronounce his name. Staff cannot sign. I think we ask out. I've got no clue. Um, Garcia won, but got dropped. How How is he coming back from that? Did he knock him out? Because I'd imagine that's the only way. <laughs> Do you think the Dons will win versus Burnley? B Burnley? Burnley is in the Premier League, Burnley. Just going with, yeah. If you're on about Premier League, Burnley, then no. Because it's a Premier League club. But I don't even... Who was in form the last time I played this career mode? I don't know. By the looks of it, Seri was having a, a class time. Um. But I, I just don't know, to be honest. Well, we're halfway through the season at least. I was meant to be finishing the second season on this career mode um, today. Today I was meant to be finishing the second season. And I'm only halfway through the first season. So, um, yeah, it's going to take quite a long time. Especially when I play every game. Fight got stopped because come on, not knocked down three times or something. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. That's the only way. I was about to say because if he's getting dropped in the second round, how is he coming back from that? Like, but Ryan Garcia is absolutely unreal. How old is Ryan Garcia now? He's still young, isn't he? I'd I'd imagine he's still young. I don't know. Right. Uh... My internet is absolutely shocking. Thank you for attending today's match. Will you please welcome Southampton and your forward? Right, come on. Up again, Southampton. This game in real life was like nil nil or something. Um, but right, but, but uh, yep, not so bad. See you later, oh, lad. Ryan Gossier has 22, yeah, I, I, I know he was young.
Well, there we go. It, I suppose that is better than uh, having the full screen top down, but um, internet goes. Internet's awful. Usually the, sh the full stream would just shut down like my PS and everything, but I'm happy that didn't. They keep us off his line now, I was about to shoot. Come on. Raphael the owl. Oh, I've missed this career mode. Wait, I'll have that. Yeah, I'll have the free kick. Wait, who's taking this? Yeah, I'm on the Ryan Kent on it. I don't know if that's best to have on it, but... Oh, that was shocking, lad. That was shocking. I'm so used to my Tottenham career mode having Gareth Bale on the free kicks. Oh, God, what a ball that is. The owl. Absolute waste. Look at that. Match has played 19 goals for 47. What season are you in? Um, this is halfway through my first season. Yeah, halfway through my first season. I would, like, this career mode's meant to be, I might, like, at this point in time, in real life, I'm meant to be finished the second season already. Like, that's what I was aiming for, a season a week. Um, but things happened in, in personal life, which, Disrupted the series. So I'm just coming back to it now. Which, Luckman, lad. I really want to stick with Luckman, but he's just not that good. No, I don't. Really want to oh, I've just realised that's Luke Longo. Yeah. Change your bloody name, lad. I guess out that is awful. Hello. Come on, man. If I don't get the ball back here. Once heavy. Oh, Slimani. I remember I've played Southampton like three times already in this career and Slimani score the answers every time. So this is a bad thing that he's getting on. Like, nah, that's mine. Maybe. Yeah. Great ball with me. Ryan Kent. We've been all over them. Rafael Leal, awful cross. Get Tamori on loan. Me centre backs are fine. I've got, um, Juan Zebe on the one, and this kid called Anderson, who's been alright so far. Oh my god. I hate, have, have I got competitive mode on? I think I do, and I absolutely hate it. It's so frustrating. Oh, Brian Kent's through. Oh, he does have to get past Bednarek. Good pass. Loftus cheek on his left, and how is he finishing that? Loftus cheek. I've just forgot as well, for next season, I'm going to have to buy the players we've got on loan this season. Which is like Loftus-Cheek, um, Twan Zebe I'll definitely have to buy fully. Um, I'd, I'd, Ulaina will have to buy fully. I even think Anderson's on loan as well. Is Luckman on loan from Leipzig? Or is Luckman a Fulham player now? I think they're signing him fully on it, I'm not sure. Sign him poop. <laughs> yeah, of course. We'll sign him back. I don't, nah, I think Tamori's overrated, in my opinion. Well, especially in real life, fair enough, you might be alright on FIFA. But I just don't see the whole hype around Tamori, honestly. Can't say there's a lot there. Oh, come on, I can. 
The, there is one thing I don't want to happen, and I've got a feeling will happen. I've got a feeling I'm going to make Champions League this season. I definitely don't want that to happen. I don't want to be in the Champions League with Fulham. Like, if I made Europa League, yeah, fair enough. But I really don't want to make the Champions League, and I've just got a feeling I am. I mean, I'm only like 14 points away from top place. Uh, Liverpool. I'm like fifth or something. Great ball. Ryan Kent. Oh, he smashed the crossbar. Um, back what I miss. Pretty much an out. Ryan Kent. Oh, way. You should be doing better there, lad. Oh, you missed um, Loftus Cheek scoring. Go on, look, man. Is everyone that good? Pretty much. Why is everyone this tile? I hate when you, you press circle or B to, to tackle and they pass the ball off but you still take the player out. It's so frustrating. Especially when you do it early on so you get booked early on and then you have to go the full game with the yellow card. It's so frustrating. Um, I'll show you the team as well. Just as we're going in. This is the usual starting team what we've got. So, did we get Liao on loan? We might have. To be fair, I think we did. I think the hour is on loan. Uh, and Gisa's not on loan. Loftus Cheek is on loan. Twan Zebe is on loan. Ulayina's on loan. Arabayo's on loan, I'm pretty sure. And there's Reed on loan? I don't know. We're signed London. Um, I forgot. Um, a ton of people in the last episode told us to start starting Lunnan over Ariola, which yeah I think I will do that from now on. I've that's just pained in my mind there to do that. I meant to put a reminder on my phone, I remember. I, me I was meant to put a reminder on my phone to do that. But I didn't know when the next episode would be. It'd be two weeks later. That's my name. Yeah. Look at this running out. Who even is this? Is this Raina? I think it was, yeah. Oh, and Gisa could not get the pass off. That would be great. And then Gisa's now in Jaws. Oh, God. So good. And he's getting back up, kind of. Ryan Kent's been played in. Hit that first time. Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Ryan Kent makes it too. Great from Ryan Ken that first time didn't even need the touch. And Zamon Gisa is injured, unfortunately. Twenty goals in the Premier League in nineteen games. Well this will be the twentieth. Twenty goals in twenty games for Ryan Kent. Unreal. Uh, series came on for Zambo and Gisalo with him picking up an injury. That's one of the first injuries we've had on this current year to the table of the truth. Ryan Kent, what a save. What a save that is. Where have other Alvin go? Great save. Look, um, we're useless from Colonel. Absolutely useless. Do I need Tarkovsky? We'll be absolute bits from Colonel. There's Tom Zebby, he's having a little run. He's going to go all alone, and my centre back on loan has just done that. Okay. His first goal for Fulham. Let's go. Brilliant. Brilliant goal from him, though. That's my centre back doing that. Oh. Great goal, 3 0 up against a good Southampton side. But that's our future captain's goal right there. Well, he's the captain now, but he's only on loan. Oh, that's great from Loftus-Cheek. 
Sorry, you're not going to be able to get that pass done. You need to be very careful, you are. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was going on. Um, we'll bring Reed on for Loftus Cheek, yeah. Loftus Cheek's been great, honestly. Where are you in the league? Um, we're fifth at the moment, 20 games in. I've, I've just got a feeling I'm going to make Champions League, and, and that's not what I want yet. I haven't got the team for a Champions I've barely got a team for a Prem. Never mind the Champions League. Oh, Ryan Kent's through again. And this is four. This is going to be four. I think I'm playing on legendary with competitor mode on. I'd, I've forgot if I've got competitor mode on or not. If I don't, it's because I got fed up with it in the earlier episodes. Four nil. We've had so many games where. I've had four goals and get we must be the highest scoring team this season. We've also conceded a lot but we've had a real long goal. Oh that is great from Ryan Kent and the Al. That is great. Seri though. Oh Edward's offside, I'm gonna hit that in here. Have they got on are they got threes or fours on goal? Jesus. They wouldn't have scored four. Oh, Ryan Kent's won this hopper. Oh, it's beautiful and Seri makes it five. Five now. The substitute. Right. Great though. Five nil up. Now if this was early on the season, I'd be very hyped up right now. But it's just getting a bit beyond the joke at this point. Shall I try the sliders? I've got a weird feeling I've got sliders on, you know. Have oh. I? No, I don't. Look at this. I'll have my injury frequency up and I'll have my keep our ability up. And then if I go with their sliders. Yeah, their keep our ability is the same as mine and their injury frequency and stuff is lower. So if anything, they've got an advantage, you know. With that, all my sliders. I'm pretty sure I'm just on legendary. With competitor mode on. I don't know if I've got that on though. It doesn't make too much of a difference. It's just they do drag backs every couple of seconds. That's more than that. It's like every millisecond they do a drag back. It's just very frustrating and looks so unrealistic. Yeah, this scoreline looks unrealistic, but. We'll look beside that, I suppose. Oh, this is unreal. Ryan Kent. Edwards, good save for his off post there. It's a Boris now on this good there. Four. Lucky it's not six. Really lucky. Well, for me first game back on this career mode, I feel like I've done bits here. I'm so used to playing with like Hyun and Son, Harry Kane and stuff. With me Tottenham career mode. You never do long range passes on this game. But there we go, 5 0. I'm going to keep a clean sheet against Southampton finally. Because I think I've played Southampton about three times um, in this career mode so far. Like, quite literally. In the cup and everything, and they always score. But look at that, Ryan Kent, two goals with two assists. Pretty much got involved with every goal. Um, unreal performances. An assist and a goal for Loftus Cheek. And the goal from Twan's Abbey, which was just out of nowhere and unexpected. In this. I'm just making sure the bloody audio works. Oh, I'm absolutely shot. Absolutely. I mean, it's. Just a quick couple of questions. Half 12, still have about half an hour. Uh, Zambo and Giso. I doubt he'll be out for that long. He didn't need to be like stretch that off kind of thing, so he won't be out for that long. I'd imagine. 
And Ryan Kent has probably been the best player I've had in a career mode. Ooh, we've got Leeds next. That puts us fourth in the league. We are... How many points is that? Like, 22 points off? No. How many... Is that 17 points off Liverpool? So Liverpool have won the league. They're 11 points above City. I think we could come second deal. I generally do. Jimenez is on, on level with Fred Ward there, but Ryan Kent, 21 goals in 20 games. Wow. How long is Angie Sal for? Five days, yeah, I knew. So you'll miss this Leeds game, but you know, I can deal without that anyway. Oh, you'll miss uh, away in the cup against Middlesbrough. What cup will that be? FA Cup, I think. No, oh, yeah, we got knocked out of the Carwell Cup against Southampton. Believe it or not. So that'll be the FA Cup, so I actually do need a fault as well, though. I'll throw a double track instead. Just to make sure. FA Cup. There should be. Yeah, FA Cup, Middlesbrough. Borough. Um. Who else is in it? We've still got City, of course, yeah. Ooh, Liverpool Everton, that's an interesting one. Although Liverpool will still win it. Newcastle have Blackpool. Uh, my new Villa, it's an interesting one. Derby West Ham as well. Norwich Arsenal. I mean, don't get us wrong. This could still be quite a tough game. I know I'm hammering Premier League clubs, but Borough have an alright team. I mean, look at some of the scores, it's so unrealistic, oh my god. 5-0 against Southampton, 3-0 against Wolves, fair enough. 3-2 against Chelsea, 5-1 against Palace, 3-3 against Man U, 4-2 against Southampton. Look, I, I play Southampton like every week. 5-1 against West Ham. Um... Yeah, look at that, in the cup. Um, that's when we got knocked out of the Carabao Cup against Southampton. I've literally played Southampton so many times. It's going to be on a joke. Uh, we did lose to Liverpool in the league, unfortunately. That Newcastle game was scenes. And we lost to City as well. Lost to Tottenham. So, to be fair, this is how newly promoted clubs should kind of work around things, right? If you just beat all the average clubs in the table... And obviously, if you lose to Liverpool, City, Spurs, Chelsea, Man U, then you're still going to do well, because look at me. I don't think... Well, I've beat Chelsea, that's it. I haven't beat any of the other, like, top six clubs. And I'm still fourth in the league, because I'm I'm picking up three points against all the other clubs. But yeah, it makes sense. West Brom have had one win this season. Leeds. I, I want Leeds gone. I hate them. I want Leeds out this Prem. They don't deserve they don't deserve to be in the Prem, they really don't. And um, we've actually got Leeds next, of course. Now I've got twelve million. Do we go and sign? I think they signed Pedri. Pedri has been in our shortlist since the first day of this career mode. I think he's waited long enough. Tarkovsky's went up in rating, which is a good thing. And he also went up in value, yeah. It's kind of expected, I suppose. Uh, Sam Greenwood. Sam Greenwood, I don't know. I don't know. I Like, yeah, I want younger players. But Sam Greenwood really won't have... The potential that some of these players have, like Pedri, um, Anthony, Gravenberch, even Marlon. Like, he's good and he'll he'll go up to a decent rate. And yeah, I just feel like everyone else here has much better potential. Like, their ratings will go insane. Yeah, that is, is, who, who said it? Where, where's that common? Where is it? 
Oh, that's not Israel. Yes, it is, Lord. I've had yours. It is Israel. I told you, I know, I know me flags. Um, I, who do I pick to sign, you know what I mean? Right, should we go through these now and just be like, right, I'm not getting you kind of thing. How do you talk off skin today? Jao Pedro, no. He's, his potential just isn't good enough for me, or where I want him to be. This kid, no. Actually, yeah, no, no. This kid, no. I've played with him in Spurs career mode. He's not good. Stefan, we already have Lund, so no. Anthony Gordon, not good enough potential. Everton, yep. Yeah. Anthony, yep. Yeah. Greenberg, yep. Yeah. Donald Dyke, yeah. His uh, potential just isn't great, though. No. He doesn't go up a high enough rating for me. Marlon, definitely. I cannot believe Marcus Tamvenier plays for Juventus in this. Why would they sign him? Um, that, uh, yes, Samuel Miovi, no. I think that was kind of a joke. The Samuel Miovi one. But yeah, definitely no. John Josh Alvin, no. Definitely not. I need all these to be scouted. I don't know why it's taking so long. Um, and then these are some of the new R players that you guys have sent in, so yeah, we'll wait for them. Are we also in January yet? We've already passed January. Oh no, we're not even in January. Right. Interesting. Alright, we'll go. Yeah. Play from Leeds anyway, I don't really want to play from Leeds. I don't know why I have such a thing against Leeds, I just do. do not like them at all. Everyone is completely knockout. Um... I think we'll play Deckard over Reed. Over Edward, just for the starting team. Definitely Caviero in for Luckman for this game. And I think we could get away with that. Ryan Kent is completely knackered. But he'll have a rest against uh, Borough, I suppose. I also think Luckman just completely out of the team. Just for this game, maybe. Um. Yeah, look, sorry. I think the score was. We drew against Leeds 1 1, I think, in the first game. So it'd be nice to get a win against them, yeah. It was either 1 1 or we beat them 1 0. I definitely didn't lose them. I don't know. I've, I've barely lost a game in this career mode. It sounds like we are being full, but I generally have basically not lost. Oh, I forgot to check the... Uh, it is... Legendary, and I do think I've compared them all on. So it's a tough enough difficulty, definitely. Because I'm even doing worse in a top and career mode than I am on this one. I think it's just the players I have. You know, I've just forgot... I forgot to start running instead of Ariola again. No, it is. Why, why, why does that spring to my mind as soon as I've started the game? I've completely forgot about that again. I know London's meant to be a backup keeper, but I'm going to start for a couple of games and see if the results are better. Obviously, I wouldn't. Look at the pairs on. Oh, I'm the sent Bobby. Bobby Reed, son. Ah, Cliff is just outstrengthed with that. Leeds are such an attacking team, it's unreal. I don't know if I like that on FIFA, but in real life, it's quite impressive to see. As much as I hate Leeds, and I hope to God they get relegated, because they still can't. They're still in a bad position in the league. Like, I just, it's unbelievable to see them play. Like, the teams they've beat this season by so many goals as well. And then, 
I mean, the first game of the season, they only lost 4 3 to Liverpool. Like, unbelievable score, right? Um, but yeah, we'll find ourselves 1 0 down the right? But, there's not a lot of Yeah, it's just, like, Leeds look like a Premier League club. Like, right, they are a Premier League club, but you know what I mean? Like, they look like they've been the Prem the whole of the club's history or something like that. Like, they just don't look like a newly promoted side who's never been the Prem for like 16 years or whatever. Oh, Loftus Cheek on his left, and he's done it. He has done it. Loftus Cheek scores back to back games. Get the ball, and there we go. We're back on track already. It's going to be so interesting in the second I just can't wait for the second season. Like, I want the first season to end. I'm only half out. Should I sin? Is that going to be a, a bad idea? Because are we going to start losing a lot of games if I sim? Or do I continue to play? In the comments down below, do I continue to play or sim pretty much all the games for the rest of the season? Just so I can get in the next season and we can start playing around with money and stuff because I've got men. Although I will keep on playing the cup because it'd be nice to win that FA Cup. That looks out of a shot at uh, Europe if we don't get into Europe. If you win the FA Cup, you get put into the qualifiers for the Europa League. So if I don't make that, and then if we win the FA Cup, then we'll have that opportunity, I suppose. Well, I thought we were going to find ourselves too, though. 2-1 though, so. Bit of yeah, in the comment section down below, do I simulate pretty much the rest of the season? I'll just continue to do what I'm doing, playing um, each game one by one. I don't know. What if I sim games like Leeds and West Brom and play the, the, the top six clubs? Because I think we can guarantee points against clubs like this. Whereas top six, it's definitely not guaranteed and I can play it and fight for the points. Oh, thank goodness. You've missed a sitter. You've missed an absolute sitter. If you sim, you'll lose a lot. Yeah, that's the thing. If I, if I start simming, I will definitely lose a lot. And it'll make it more realistic, definitely. But if we're going, I'm not trying to like say anything. But if we're basing this off my skill and stuff, if I can get Fulham to top four in the first season, then there you go. And I haven't simmed any games up until now, so it'll take until about the eighth or ninth episode to do the first season, and we're in the fifth episode now. So realistically, we're not that far off at all. It's just like, I think the thing that bores it is the first half of the season is great because it's your first time playing the clubs, but when you've played them before, it just gets very boring. Like, as Southampton, for instance, I've played them four times this season already. It just, it gets boring. The Leeds, this is my second time playing Leeds. Yes, you do play the same team twice in the season. But it gets quite repetitive. And to say the same goal scorers as well. I know it's a stupid thing to get annoyed about, but it's constantly Ryan Kent and Edward scoring. And it's getting very beyond the joke. I just want to say new players. You know what I mean? This is why I want the second season so much. Because having that money and be able to get these new players going to be really good though. Oh, that was awful from Carmelo's end. So, December just kills your team. Nee-1's got stamina. December's ridiculous. You play a game like every three or four days. Yeah, I've definitely got competitive mode on. 
You can tell by the way they're, they're moving the ball around. Tyler Roberts is a good shout, you know, for a sign. He's great. Well, I think we'll start getting the main players on. Edward Reed actually hasn't been too bad, and I think Ryan Kent's just completely knackered at this point. Um, and we don't, don't want to get him injured. Uh, God, can't they even on the bench? This could look sorry. Like, pacey and stuff. Well, decently pacey. Uh, also, the one off his cheek to get completely ruined. Also, don't understand that. Reed is now playing in centre mid. He's a centre defensive mid. Like, he loses so many reins. I'm like, there's not that much difference from centre defensive mid to centre mid. You're in the same position on the field. Yes, your job's slightly different. But I'm pretty sure I can do that same job in the same position on the field. I don't like the way they've done that in this new FIFA because it gets quite annoying. The, the, sometimes you play... I think I've had a Palace career mode. And I put Zaha on the left wing. One of his positions is left wing. But when I put him in left wing, it just has the exclamation mark saying like a minus two. And I'm like, well, he can play left wing. Yeah, he doesn't play there right now in real life. He plays up front. But if it's saying he can play left wing, and I'm putting him in left wing... Don't tell us that you can't play that kind of thing. I, I don't like the way they've done it, basically. I really don't. Caviero. Oh, he's won with the game. Surely that's won with the game. Oh, even Caviero. Caviero. Idiot. Um, great player. I played with him, was it last year with Wolves? Are the Wolves career Was Caviero playing for them then? Or was it the season before? I think it was the season before. I've played with him at Wolves anyway. And he was great. Great pick up for Fulham. Please start wins with the game. I've had enough of seeing Leeds. They're such a frustrating team to play against. They're not good. They're not good at all. They're just very frustrating to play against. It's like that in real... Watching Newcastle play Leeds in real life was horrible. It really was horrible. Like, it, it was absolutely just... It was shambles. They're getting embarrassed by... Yes! I'd probably say Leeds are better than them. Actually, no, I wouldn't. Leeds aren't better than Newcastle United. And that's a strong statement that I've just said there. They're not. They're not better than them. They're not better than most Premier League clubs. They also have an alright manager. Everyone overrates. Um, what's his name? Beats or Bielitz or whatever his name is. He's overrated as hell. He really is. People like describe him as being like Jurgen Klopp and stuff like that. No, he's not. It's. Leeds are such a. Unconsistent team. They really are. One week they're losing to Manchester United. What was it? 5 or 6 0? Something like that. Or 5 or 6 1 or 2 0. God, what was the score in that game? It was like 6 2 or something. Um, and the next week they're beating West Brom 5 0. They're beating Newcastle 5 2. Losing to Liverpool 4 3. It's like they're just such an inconsistent team. They really are. And it's the amount of goals. I don't know how they score that many goals. I know it's their attacking football is just ridiculous. And the formation they play is so good. I just, yeah. I think everyone needs to calm down the leads. I think they, they really do need to calm down. Because, yeah, they'll, they'll, fair enough, they'll probably stay up this season, I'd imagine. But it's going to be like Sheffield. But not as bad as Sheffield. So Leeds will have... A worse our first season than Sheffield did. Sheffield came ninth last season. I think these will come 14th, 15th this season. Next season, Leeds are getting relegated. I do. I, I do think that. I really do. It's not going to be as bad as Sheffield, where we already know Sheffield are getting relegated this season. 
when we're, we're not even halfway through the season in real life. Um, so like it'll kind of be like a relegation battle thing where it'll come down to the last couple of games, and if Leeds say lose to Manchester United and Aston Villa beat whatever team, then Leeds are relegated. Kind of of I think that's what it'll you. come down to. I think I'm just rabbiting on at this point, but I. I think everyone needs to calm down with Leeds because they are very overrated. I'll just say Thank that, you. and their manager as well. Everything they do with Leeds, very overrated. They, I just, I just, I don't understand it. Like, I don't know how they play so well against big clubs. I, I don't see. I don't see it. Who have they got? None of their players are Premier League standard players. Even Patrick Bamford's overrated, right? I know that sounds ridiculous to say. Look at Patrick, Patrick Bamford's goals and look at who they're against. Okay. Yeah, it's still a goal. Yeah, he's like nearly the top scorer in the league or whatever. But I don't know, right? I'm rabbiting on, but I just really don't see how people rate Leeds to be this good. I really don't. Um, but we've got this FA Cup game in the third round. Are we? I don't think we've played an FA Cup yet. So this will be nice. This is a trophy I, I want to go for. But when new players have arrived, we have this bloke, and I think Teddy can just... He can go. Uh, and we've now got this kid, Fierro. He looks... His stats are really good. 20 years old, from America, just like Wolves. Like, I mean, there's so many players from America on this team. Um, and then this kid, 92 pace. And he can play on the left wing, right wing, and right wing back. He is 28, but... <laughs> it's not me, you And then you're on acceleration, 92 pace. This kid looks alright, just to kind of throw on. And this kid's something for the future, only being 20. But, just so I don't forget, there we go. Lunnan is now, we're starting to keep off for the next couple of games. Let's see who he's coming up against. Very tough opposition. So we've got Bora, who should be, should be Brighton. And Tottenham, who we lost against, we drew against Arsenal and we lost against C in their first games. So, very tough month. And on our last game of the season, oh, our last like two months of the season are tough as well. So, this is going to be very interesting to see how this kind of ends. But I think we do start Simon though. I think this is to the point. Um, right, this game though, we're going to have Caviero in and Reed. And we're going to be resting Ryan Ken completely. This kid's going to come in for his debut though. You see what I mean there? Like, he can play right back. I'm pressing him to play right back, and he still gets ratings to go off him. It's still a strong side. I'm putting a, a ton of risks on this game. It's a cup I kind of want to win as well. And we do. And it's the new kid on his debut. New kid on his debut. Gayu scores in the 81st minute. And we dominated the game, basically. Yeah, completely dominated it. Mate. On his debut. And I was playing him in right wing back. I wasn't even playing him in a forward position. That's great. Congrats to the lad. Uh, we're third in the league now, though. And like I said, if I start losing and stuff and I don't come top four, I am not too bothered. I'm really not, because 
I think it's unrealistic to come top four anyway. Plus, it's better if we don't come top four. Um, because I'd rather make Europa League, plus, we're just not going to do anything in the Champions League. No matter who we have in the group, it's the Champions League. And you'll never see film there in a long time. We've got Brighton. We'll sim this. We'll most likely just sim the rest of the season, but we'll do it game by game. I'll not do it in the calendar because your manager rate and everything drops dramatically. I've got a lot of room and a ton of players. Scout reports are coming in now, which is good. We'll just simulate this game, then we'll look at everything. You know what, I think because he scored, this kid is going to play. There we go. Sorry, team. And yeah, just do it single game, so we can kind of thing around with the team. Did you miss anything important? Um, not really, no. Nothing much. Apart from that, I have just simmed and we've lost to Brighton. That's not really good. What we're looking at? No one's played well at all. We didn't make any subs, though. Maybe I just shouldn't simulate the games. Because <laughs> I'm still expecting to beat teams like Brighton. Okay. Will we buy on one? Um, at this point, it's looking very unlikely. I've got 12 million. No one's scout reports are coming through. Like, what is this? How, why is it taking this long? Dakar's has came through. Um, He's recently joined the club, so he won't move to a different club, so he won't come to us. And he's also like 20 million. So, that will probably be a next season thing. Uh, still haven't got a value on this bloke. Uh, do I have any values on anyone? 31 million. Green Birch is 15 million. 40 41 million. For Anthony. Wow. Yeah. I feel like going and put Pedri, but we can't. It's too through now. Right, we could get him. A pause thing and that, yeah. We're kind of getting some players, uh, like values in the art. Like this kid's a lot. This could take two or three million, so I will just pay his. Alright, we'll sign him. Alright. it. My voices went all funny, boys. It shows I'm tired. As well, I don't have me water. I usually have water when I'm streaming, it's not good enough. It's really not good enough. Move bonuses. Wait. Oh, where? Too much. Way too much. There we go. I suppose they have to realise I'm, I'm on a, a very tight budget here. Yeah, I think everyone else we're just going to have to wait. We're really just going to have to wait until next season. Um, yeah, new centre back, which we didn't really need, but oh, he's only 66 overall, but he is also only 22. He's six foot five, right? And there's 84 pace, 91 sprint speed, and this kid's six foot five.
that would blow my mind. Six foot five, ninety one sprint speed. Wow. Also, this bloke's back off though, and he actually looks another kid who's six foot five. Mate. Oh, Timmy Abraham, let's go. Oh, it's actually class to see. Right, we'll have Timmy Abraham, he will be going. He's awful. But this bloke looks good. He looks very good. So, you're coming up here. Um, and this guy can go there, because Arabayo is just not good at all. Mate. He's 6 foot 5. I am blown away by this, though. 6 foot 5. So he's, like, massive and bulky and everything, and is that fast. Jesus. But, the thing is, like, it's easy to replace one of these, like, Twan Zebio Anderson with Tarkovsky. Like, rating-wise, that's so easy to replace. But, Anderson's just so good. And Twan Zebio is one of the best centre-backs I've had on the game. Like, he really is that good. And it's just going to be horrible to replace these. But at some point you need to move on. This is the thing. Like players like I don't know. For instance, Newcastle in real life, Wijnaldum, Sissoko, brilliant players. But there's just a point you you kind of need to move on. And yes, you want to keep these players forever, but you just need to move on. Um, like I don't know, Miguel Almiron, who will have, in my opinion, were first or second best player. But there's going to be some point in the near future where we're going to have to get rid of Almon. Or maybe we're not going to have to, but we'll just get rid of him in general. Um, like at this point, I don't see a reason to get rid of Almon. But in a couple of years, there will be some type of reason to get rid of him, so we do. So I do need to get rid of players like this. Like Ryan Kent, for instance, his rating doesn't go up. He might get to 78 or 79 overall. That isn't good for the future of this club. So to get we're in, a, say, a European spot, Ryan Kent is perfect for that. But there's a point when you're so used to getting into your European spots, then at that point you get rid of your players like Ryan Kent. Edward, though, goes to, like, nearly 90 overall. So, yeah, keep Edward. Um... Adam Ola Luckman as well. There's going to be a point where you just, there's no more potential in him. Which, to be fair, he's not really going to go up from 77 overall. So when we we find a perfect spot in Europe, we'll just get rid of players like this. Zambo and Gisal on the other hand, we're definitely keeping this kid for a lot of the career. Mode. Loftus Cheek as well. Uh, Lunnan, hopefully. Ulaina as well. Um... Do you maybe need a tank type striker? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Although Edwards is kind of like a tank, six foot two, um, and his physicality and stuff isn't that bad. It would be nice to have another one with Edward because Ryan Kent, as much as I love him, right, as much of a absolute unreal player he is. And let's have a look. How many goals has he got in the Prem? Twenty one goals in the Prem. He, we're going to have to get rid of him at some point. So, yeah. If we could get... Uh, Try Dyke. Um, Sam Greenwood's awful, by the way. Sam Greenwood, no. Definitely not. Um, Dyke would not be that bad of a shout. The only thing about him is potential is not great at all. He might get mid 70s, but apart from that, he doesn't really go up to a high rating. But he'd be good for now, yeah. He's cheap as well, so we might get him this. Um, this transfer window. Yeah, mate, Sam Greenwood's awful, so no.
Good rotation though, yeah. Interesting talk. Oh, oh, this is no. Right, this Karamo just took a massive spin. A massive U-turn. AS Monaco will burn in for receiving off half 19.9 million. Oh. Patrick Bomford, no. I'd imagine you're a Leeds fan. I was just on about how Leeds are overrated as well in the last game. It's quite funny. Um, right, now I'm kind of scared a little bit because Tarkovsky might be going to... Oh, they've accepted it. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's going to Monaco. So we're not even going to be able to get him next season. Until next January. I mean, we could try and buy him. I don't know who we would give, but we've been drawing. Try your judge, but he's the one. Yeah. He's not fast, though, is he? Who is he? I'm pretty sure he's not that fast. Wow, the house value went right down. That's not good. Right, 20 million. Right, can he Teddy? Because we're not going to use him. Can you get a Leeds player, please? Like, I can't. Yeah, he isn't fast, but shooting is good. Yeah. That, yeah. That's kind of how I say it, yeah. How much we got? 11 million? 15 million plus, we'll say, 7. They're just going to straight deny the player. Watch this. They're going to deny the player. Oh. Oh. I will look at Leeds players like Helder Costa. Yeah. Don't worry. I will. Oh, goodness. I'm going to get copyright as well for the... For the um, the background music so I need to kind of do this quick uh, I don't want to get rid of Van Gisa though you can get Canati for that yeah it's a very good show oh please do a different player no please not Van Gisa. like any other player pretty much it's not Van Gisa. Add 12 million more. 118 million. Yeah, if I can find a deal here, though, like. Now it's gonna work, is it? Oh wait, I can do that. That literally gives us no money though. And they still don't accept it. Wow. Honestly. Like, you just accept it at that point, wouldn't you? So yeah, Tarkovsky is going to AS Monaco. Great. Tarkovsky's been the main target since the career mode started as well. Even if I accept it, you'd rather go Monaco than Vaughn. I don't know. Like, right, I know I'm not Tarkovsky. But if you put me in that situation, I'd much rather stay at home in the Prem. So, uh, right. I think, yeah, just no more starting to you. Mate, I'm going to try out this kid. Well, I'm not playing the game, but, like, we'll just play him. Mate, they've got Jerome Boateng at the back. So I'm not expecting to. I'll take that. I'll happily take that. I'll take a point against Tottenham Simonet. Definitely. Thank you. 
Yeah, I'll start them, don't worry. I know it's so hard for you guys to comment because I think in real life I'm like a little bit ahead of the stream kind of thing, so yeah, don't worry, I'll start them. Sorry there, boys. Alright, we've got... Of course the scout report's coming now. Of course they do. Too late. Well, not too late, but... Change is planned. They'll come even faster. Very good travel, actually. I completely forgot about all, like, the planned and stuff that you can do. I want to know who's on loan as well. This kid is on loan. Should have a bit of. Wait. I didn't have him as loan to buy. Oh no. Alright. It's not good. That isn't good. Alright. I think his sprint speed literally just stops. Well, doing this um, can put his acceleration up, but yeah, his sprint speed is literally maxed at 91, which is still ridiculous. 91 sprint speed for a centre back. That is going to be so broken. Once he's um, like more into the team, which will probably be in the second season. But yeah, we go up against a very, very strong Arsenal squad. I'm going to be playing this kid again. And. Yeah, I suppose we'll just leave it like that. Leeds player, please. Yeah. We'll look in. I don't think we'll sign. Mate, another draw. We got a 1 1 draw against Tottenham and now 2 2 against Arsenal. I will happily take these. Liao injured though. Um, so, bad guy you come in from. Bad Loftus Cheek score. And Ryan Ken score. Happily take the 2 2 draw against uh, Arsenal there. Which should keep us around 5th in the league, I'd imagine. Explain why he's made... I know. Mate, and you are the one that told me to to sign him this January as well. So, wow. Him and Lunnan as well. Ever since I put Lunnan as the starting keyboard. He has only out for five days. That's okay. Mate, are you obsessed with leads? Calm down. Calm down. Uh, it's going to be so annoying to find his name. Oh. How that cost has 27? I thought he was a lot younger than 27. Sign Joe Felix. I mean, yeah, maybe in like the 20th season, but only in the first. Is that even how you spell Harrison? I don't know. Never no. no, got Jack Harrison as well. No problem, lad. I, you probably won't see them until next season because I don't have any money, but yeah. To be fair, I probably will end up signing Helda Costa. Jack Harrison will go back to City, won't he? So. 
Um, thought Lacosta was 22, 23, same. I didn't think he was 27. Um, FA Cup against Luton. We should win this. Oh, Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland wouldn't be that bad to manage, would it? And. Adorabio. I don't know why you want to play him out. You're not good. And now we've got that new centre back who's just absolute bits. Um, did his report come back? I don't think it has. No. Yeah, I don't think as um, report has come back. And we'll play this kid again. We'll also play Gaiu because he's been really good recently. We'll also play him there. We have Tete at the game then. I think they're giving this kid a game as well. New subscriber, Reeks. Oh, the kid in the chat. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel, bro. So, my new setup now is uh, I've got my iPod. Which I have like next to us, and I'll get like notifications and stuff from that. I think it's quite a nice setup. Um, you should be the man who thought we were going to That's what I was thinking. Like, I should have accepted Northern Ireland. Because you've got players like Jamal Lewis and stuff. Who obviously been from Newcastle and supporting Newcastle. It's it's close to it. Um, I'm thinking of Reed up front as well. Because Reed's class in Cups. Um, but we've got that new centre back. We need a nickname for him because I don't even want to try and pronounce his name. <laughs> I'll just stream every day. Oh, cheers, bro. Thank you. I will be streaming every night, yeah, definitely. If I. <laughs> India though, like are oh, a bad team, but India's like half a stall, kind of bad. He was scored there, the things. Loftus Cheek and Edwards, perfect. London eighty six rated and goal. Me Ariola's getting shown up, yeah, he really is. Yeah, we're done bitter. I mean, it's against Luton, but Newcastle lost to Brentford one nil in this FA Cup. So did we in real life in the Carabao Cup. Sorry, Ted here. He's crucial. He's not very good at it. Let's go. Simming it, I feel like I'm doing kind of the same. And I'm just getting through it a lot faster. Yeah, it's still slow because I, I could just go to the calendar and sim, but I'd rather still do everything and keep everything updated while simming the games. My phone just shut off. That ain't good. Fabricio approach me that is fine. Oh his um report just came back. I'll play how you want about. Oh, it's so much better watching it on my iPod. I think we should train. Oh, I don't understand that. Since it... Yeah, that's a good show. Um, can you prank call someone? No. Who still does prank calls? Too far, I've never really done a prank call, but definitely not. No. Yes, Monaco. James Tarkovsky. This, it would never happen. He'd always stay in England if he did leave Burnley, but... Right, everyone's scout reports are starting to come through. This is good. This is really good. Um, wow, this kid seems alright. Okay. Nine. Yeah. Right, he's definitely a good challenge. 10 million though, yet again. If we are going to be getting him, it'll be next season. Um, okay, his scout report has come through. 72. Average pace. Alright, a shooting. Seems to be an alright player. And he's 4 million. Will I tell you my number? Um, I mean, no. 
that's just a bit of a um I mean I don't want you know mind that would also mean you putting it in the bloody chart. Which probably isn't a good thing. But this kid is four point seven million, so recently acquired. Great. And he's from Montenegro. I was wondering what that country was. Montenegro, look, you never really see players from Montenegro these days. You really don't. Uh, okay, I'll send you. Alright, we've got City next, not expecting anything here. Second in the league. Wow, like, everyone is on 43 points. Mains wants Serie. Is it time we just give Serie away? Because his value is not going to go up. But I mean, I just want to keep him. I'm on to new. No way! Well. After I've just said that, you're actually Montenegro, and that is, that's mod. Okay, welcome everyone. Uh, we'll start with the questions now, please. Thank you. Well, I, I said, um, you don't really see players who are Montenegro, didn't I? If I said you don't really see Montenegro in people, then I am sorry. I didn't mean it like that. It's fake. Okay. Thoughts on Stefan Salvic. Uh Very dirty player, but good. He's good, but he's very dirty, I think. Especially when, what was it, Montenegro versus England? Like, last year, was it? Um, when Montenegro scored first, and then I don't know what the score was, it was like 6-1 or something. But yeah... Start Savage basically showed how dirty he was. Um, best centre back currently though. Eleven clean sheets in fourteen games. Fair enough. Stat wise, yeah. But best centre back currently. It's a huge statement. Right, what team? Right, you know what? I don't even care. I know I'm not playing this, but I am putting five bloody players at the back. I don't care what anyone says. Five players are going at the back. Uh, Sorry, can come in. And you already know the goal is in. Uh... God, I want a half stream. This was only meant to be an hour. Right, let's go. I'll oh, close my eyes. I'm not even looking. I'm looking at my iPod. I'm going to watch the score come through on my iPod. Two no C. Oh, yeah, was a pal at the brace. I mean, yeah. I can't really expect much. Close the oil club wins. <laughs> yeah, that's how I see City these days. They don't have fans. City don't have fans. And it's just all that they were money there, club. Yeah, it's very frustrating. We've, we've lost that. I mean, nothing I can do, but. How many games did we just go unbeaten? Oh, well, we lost to, to Brighton. Doesn't mean more. But, um,. When is my next cup game? Oh, have they not done it yet? Still not done it. Definitely. Yeah. Die coming. Um, oh, God. Yeah. Oh, that was a very good shot. Right, and, right, I'm going through the players. I don't care right now. So, Tarkovsky. This is very sad. And it makes us want to cry. 
but he's off the short list. Nathan Redmond is going to stay. Everton can stay. Anthony, no, because he's like 40 million. Graven Birch, no. Von Bergen, he can stay. Marlon can definitely stay. I'm not talking. I know, I know. It's horrible to uh, get Tarkovsky gone, but he's just went to Monaco. It won't be until next January before we can even try to get him. I just don't think it'll happen. Uh, Tom Fettina, definitely not. Only 69 overall. Um, Doc Art can stay at Mark Reagan, no. This could definitely... Yeah. Keep him there, because we've only got a scout report. Dyke is there, and then... We'll keep these two. Tarkovsky with... Yorkshire. Dyke, we still haven't got his stuff through, but it seems that he's decently cheap. 2.9 million, I'll just pay his release clause, and we'll get him to Fulham. Probably won't play that much, um, but we'll just see how the team looks in the second season, I suppose, and then we'll decide on whether our playing him and stuff will be the way forward. Prospect. Let's see if we can do five years. We can't do five years. Th this could clearly show he he's not really bothered about his future. So, Daryl Dyke, what a name. 66 overall, only 72 pace. His shooting isn't too bad. Um, 96 strength. <laughs> okay. Um, so you'll come in. So Daryl Dyke, welcome to the squad. My god. Uh, check his strength. Yeah, we did. Very strong. 96. Wow, Piero has went to Barcelona, 70 million. Grimaldo to Spurs, Kempembe to City. Wow, City get better and better. Anthony Knockout still exists. Jesus. He'll definitely be gone when he's battlefield. Yeah, I wouldn't give them the game. Uh, Stamina. Right, what, what we're looking at here is pace. It's pace that also puts stamina up. That, that's good. This one's probably what we want, though. Eight weeks. Yeah, so we'll do mobile striker. That also puts us overall up, which is good. And yeah, we'll play a new game after that. This wait Villa at home, yeah, we'll play that. So a new centre back, I just can't wait to see how this looks because I'm gonna be playing from the back and this kid's gonna have ninety odd pace. It's gonna look ridiculous. You know what, we're doing it. 
he might not go on this transfer window, but Seri is going to be going. That also frees up wages because Seri's on bloody 73k a week. It's way too much. We should do mobile striker and then portrait. Uh, which one was the portrait? Is this for Daryl Dyke? I'm sure there's a quicker way to get you a strike, guys. Like. Maven, sorry, Maves. Honestly, he's been absolutely class. He really has. So, yeah. So, that's going to be about eight weeks and about eight weeks. Because it says eight weeks, but if he's in good form, it takes like a shorter period of time. So, it just really depends on, on his form. But yeah, so we'll go from that to Portra, and I'm going to have to be reminded about that because. I'd imagine that's going to be next episode, and I'm just going to... Transfer talks ended for Seri anyway, so he's not going. <laughs> good news. Oh, it's so good to be back uh, streaming, by the way, guys. It really is. And I've also gained three subscribers in the stream, so thank you guys so much for the new subscribers. It's actually two weeks today since we last filmed this. And that was episode four, so... Well, two weeks to do. You can cross it today because, you know. Yeah. I think, yeah, with this Villa game, I mean, I obviously want to get as much points as possible, but we'll just play a bit of a younger, unexperienced team, if I can put it that way. With obviously the new signings and stuff, and just see how it goes. The next game is so important. Yes, it is, but I've got two better right backs than you. So unfortunately, no. FA Cup prize money. Does this mean we have our new? Oh, Chelsea, Chelsea in the cup. That's horrible. Right, I'll change the last kit there. And I think we'll just end this episode here um, after this game. It was only meant to be an hour because I've started this stream very late. But we've went an hour and a half. Yeah. I started it at like 12. It's, it's only 2 o'clock. I didn't even realise that. It's only 2 o'clock. Jesus. Um, I think we'll play Seri just because. Yeah. He, he's like a fan favourite. Um, right. Where is he? Daryl Dyke, yeah, you go on, lad. Get yourself up front. Make sure we play like the two big men. And then we'll play Kent on the wing. We'll play Gaius, so we'll play another, and then another new one. And this kid. Alright, so we're playing like all the new players here, basically. Um, although Fierro haven't played him, so he can come to the bench, and we'll have played this kid. Um, Chelsea have Werner and Kai. Easy win for you. I don't know. I, I think we've beat them in the Premier League. So, but yeah, that's the team we'll go for. Tomorrow night in our stream. Uh, yes, tomorrow night stream will be. If I'm not doing anything, there will a hundred percent be a stream, and it won't be as late as this stream. The only reason this stream's late. Is because my auntie was around, um, and I was speaking to her for like most of the night. So, so tomorrow the fourth. Wait, no, it's Sunday. Newcastle game on at two p.m. But that's all right. That'll be done by the time a stream would start. So I'll be watching that. So there'll be a player ratings video tomorrow as well. So I'm excited to make that. Um. So probably about nine o'clock we'll start the stream tomorrow. Eight or nine, I'll say. I don't know. Eight or nine. I think that's wait. If I go to the other streams. Ten. So we'll start the other streams prior to this one at about ten PM. 
But I think about nine we'll start tomorrow. We'll come defo. Definitely do, mate. You've really helped a lot with this career mode. And you've made the streams a lot more interesting, so thank you for being here. Definitely appreciate it. Right, let's go. We've got like four of the new players or something. This is a fine. So we've got Daryl Dyke. It wasn't that fast, but we're getting his pace kind of built up, and this is it. He is fast. It doesn't feel like 91 pace, but fair enough, he is 6 foot 5. So that's probably what um, evens it out. He is 6 foot 5. But he is still very fast. Nice ball into a new, like, right back slash right wing slash left wing player. We've got Edward. I was trying to play that in there. Down. Top scorer gets. 80% price increased. Wow. Okay. I didn't know that. That means Ryan Kent is going to be worth a lot of money next season. And I was on about earlier on this episode that Ryan Kent won't be good enough for it in a couple of seasons' time. So, well, thank you for saying that because now we might have a perfect opportunity of selling Ryan Kent. Oh goodness. That's not good. I well kind of expected this for playing the young stars. There's a new right back. I just want to have a free wing, please. I just want to run down the wing with them. Yeah, it's new centre back is very fast for a centre back who's six foot five. It doesn't feel like he's going that fast because he's six foot five, but yeah. Oh, Ryan Kent, no. Yeah. Ryan Kent just does not suit playing on the wing. He doesn't. He needs to be up front. Great, great from the new right back, uh, Gayu. I think that's how you say that. There's Daryl Dyke. He's going to play the ball in Edward. One touch, two touches, smashes it top beams. Edward scores. Atmosphere in Craven Cottage is unreal as well. Daryl Dyke with an assist, that's good. As I think that boy's passed him much better than it seems. I was, yeah, I was literally about to say it, it does, and that's what just happened there. Sixteen goals now for Edward, I think that's the second in the Prem. Ryan Kent top with like 22. Ryan Kent's passing is just so good. Not passing, what am I on about? There's shot, shooting. I tell you, my brain at like 2am basically non-existent. Oh, it's great from Seru. No, oh, I'm trying to do... I'm doing too many crossovers. Step-overs. There's nothing... He's just threw himself at the floor there, however. The atmosphere on Crimson Gardens is actually class. Like, when you score, it's on you. Edward, not a good first touch. It seems like the reasonable thing to do, yeah, because he's not as fast as what I want him to be. By the way, though, that new centre walk is doing bits. He really is. Daryl Dyke. Honest debut. Daryl Dyke scores. I want to go wild right now, but it's like half one or something. Daryl Dyke, get yourself there. Come on. Possibly a future on number nine. Possibly. Look at him go. 
I really felt like passing it, but I felt like getting him a debut goal. And now we go off the post and then. Incredible. Yes, 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 it is. That's one word to describe it. Incredible. Daryl Dyke scores. And I think with that, we will do. Right. Right, stay central. Get in behind. And then, I'll never mess around with these. But there we go. Stay for a lot. And we'll see how, see how much this does. Like, difference. Because I'll never mess around with them, like, tactic things. But they could actually help. So I've told Owl like to stay up front. Get in behind. Should be good. Should put that on for Ryan Ken. Like, get in behind and stay up front. Because... Even though he's already broken, it would make him even more broken. Oh my goodness, no. If this goes in. Daryl Dyke has got a brace on his debut. On his Premier League debut. His first ever game for Fulham in the Premier League. And he's got a brace. This is, this is unbelievable, Jeff. This is absolutely unbelievable. It really is. Unbelievable. How's the keeper not even saving? That'll be fair. Like, come on. There we go, half time 3 1. Daryl Dyke. It's great from him. What a debut he's on. What a debut. Oh, yeah, I played this game now. It's very past there. Can. Oh my god, I thought Donald Oak was going to do it. I thought he was about to get his heart trick. Oh, what a goal that would be. We're bullying Aston Villa with basically in the second team. It's basically what this is. so much lad you miss so much <laughs> Daryl Dyke scored again how, how do I like show this uh, Daryl Dyke two goals and an assist mate I want him to get his hat trick so badly he deserves it he's been close there he goes good save I wish he had more of a finesse shot than what the man Odd help. Oh, need to do that. Daryl Dyke. Kent. Oh, what a good one. Um, how you played much COD recently? Um. No, uh, I haven't played much COD recently, definitely not, no. Uh, I just went off Cold War, I really did. Um, I think, when did I go off Cold War? Like, when they brung the Battle Pass thing out, like the new Season 1 thing, I stopped playing the game. And I haven't played it since. I really do not like it at all. 
Um, and yeah, I get what you mean about not telling Edward and Dyker, but they're literally the same height, and I swear they have the same colour boots as well, which doesn't really help. I think they have the same colour boots. Could be lying. Well, if I can get Daryl Dyker's hat trick, that'd be absolutely class. I'm not going to force his hat trick, it's just if he's in that position to get his hat trick. Edward, no. Oh, go on. Go on, Caillou. This is the new right back. He's doing bits. Edward, oh my goodness, he went for another kick. Okay. Uh, you know what, we'll bring that. I think it was a left back or something I had. Yeah, this kid. We'll bring him on. And we'll bring this new striker on for his debut as well. From America. I swear we just love our American players. We've got so many. But what a shout it was to get Daryl Dyke. Because I think I had him in my shortlist at the start of the season. And then I took him out being like, nah, this kid will never... Like, do anything. He's got a brace and an assist on his day. Just out of nowhere. That's Griffin Tons over. There are. Uh, Daryl Dyke. Oh my god, keep on going, son. Ah. He's just not got it at this point, like. It's Premier League, lad. <laughs> We do have Chelsea in, I think it's the Cup next, which will be in the next episode, that'll be a good game. What did you end up getting for Christmas? Um, the main thing I got for Christmas was an iPod, um, which was very nice, of course. Uh, so yeah, main thing was an iPod, um, a ton of clothes, like tracksuits, stuff like that. Um, I'm actually trying to think what else I got for Christmas. Link sets, of course, you know, the main present. Daryl Dyke. I'm going to have to pass that off. Oh, God. I don't know. I'm trying to focus on getting him as hat-trick, but he's not going to get it, unfortunately. Right, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Um, My brain's completely went by the way, boys. I've completely forgot what I got for Christmas. You never had a link set. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. If you've never had a link set, I just don't believe you. Look at that though, Daryl Dyke. Easily man the match. I'd imagine. Let's have a look. No, I don't want to see Wesley's go. Yeah, Daryl Dyke man the match. Oh, it's beautiful. It, it's beautiful. Two goals, one assist. Beautiful. That's what I like to see. Um, yeah, but the main thing was the iPod, which is lovely, which is helping us watch like the streams and stuff like that. So, yeah, that was the main present. And I'm trying to think what else I got, but my brain's just completely dead. Time for just a few questions. Clothes, basically. Thanks very much. No, Sam Pass is complete, yeah. Oh, you got the Yeezys, was it? What was it? Yeezy 750s or 500s you were after or something? I forgot which ones you were after. Ariola wants more game time. What a shame. Five hundreds, yeah. I personally don't like them. I don't like any Yeezys, to be fair. I really don't like any Yeezys. Play another game. I could. I'm gonna have to have a monster or something next stream because um, I'm absolutely shattered. 
I didn't even know I was in simulator. I'm absolutely shattered and I'm not gonna wake up. So um good luck for tomorrow's stream boys. Um, like I said as well, there'll also be the player ratings video for the Newcastle Leicester game, unless that gets postponed, because I know the Burnley Fulham game has been postponed. I've just got a weird feeling I'll wake up tomorrow and yeah, that the Newcastle game has been postponed as well, which I really don't want to hear. Because yes, we're gonna get bad because it's Leicester, but I've got to be positive and. Hope for a good game, I suppose. Plus, it's a Newcastle game. I just like. I don't like watching them play, but I just like knowing, like, oh, that's me home team right there, kind of thing. I don't like watching them play because it's painful. As well, though, player ratings videos afterwards, which get a lot of backlash. Um. Although the last one didn't, the new, uh, the Liverpool one. The one commented on that one. But like most of them, like a ton of people just comment, "Why do I think Saint Maximin's bad?" It's pretty obvious because he is, and he's overrated. I do not like Saint Maximin whatsoever. Oh, we've got Chelsea in the league, then in the cup. Okay. Let him go. I'd let him go for free. Ecuador. Mate. Ecuador is an alright team. I'd want a team in Europe, to be fair. Don't, you're saying don't? Because Ecuador's not that good of a team. But I'd also want a European team, so. Half star one top. What star? Ecuador. Oh, this kid's already went up a rate. Let's go. Where is he? Dyke, what a guy, what a guy. Everyone's went up in ratings, this is really good. Really good to see. Ryan Kemp went up in rating. Finally. You know, he's he's only got 22 goals in the Prem. Ecuador's two stars, fair enough. Alright, do we play this Chelsea game? Chelsea Palace, then Chelsea in the Cup, right? I'll send these two, then play Chelsea in the Cup. You already know who we're playing though, don't you? Like, you just know who we're playing. We're playing bloody Daryl Dyke, boys. That is who we're playing. I don't want to the yeah, but like, I just want the second season. At this point, I don't care if I lose. I just want to be in the second season. Daryl Dyke scores again. Mate, I don't care that I just lost 2-1. Daryl Dyke has scored again. It said minus 5 because it apparently wasn't in the correct position. But I've corrected that. That's fine. Mate. Daryl Dyke scoring again. <laughs> I don't care that I just lost to Chelsea there. Daryl Dyke scored. I don't think I'll play him in the Palace game because I want him for the cup game against Chelsea. Which I'll play and then end the stream because it's 8 2 o'clock and I'm absolutely shot on. The next game is so important. No. I'll make the decisions, lad. Mate, they're playing Connor Wickham. Oh, goodness. Right. So.
Terry's gonna come in. Bobby Reed. Got you. You're still team there. Oh, well, one. And it's Luckman who got the goal. Let's go. Lunnan with a good keep our rating again. And here we go. FA Cup fifth round up against Chelsea. And Everton beat Liverpool. If they now beat Man U, we have such a good chance on the FA Cup. <laughs> Why do you want to play? You won't win the cup. I think we will. Because I'll play the cup. Yeah, that's what I mean. If I focus on the cup, we should be able to make Europe. Let's see how we go. We'll save this. There we go. Why does this kid always want to play? Oh my god. Uh, do you think there's getting. Thank you all for joining us. We'll, we'll start taking some questions now. Too much of a hate. I don't know. I mean, it's just like the Champions League exists. And I'd much rather watch the Champions League. Than the Europa League, and I feel like that they're on at the same time. It kind of like I don't really feel like there's a point in the Europa League either. The trophy to win, I'd be happy with the Europa League, but it's just not a massive achievement. It's like ooh yay Europa League kind of thing. Like, I don't know. But, yeah, it's just, is winning a Super Cup good? Super Cup, yes. I mean, it, it kind of depends who you are. I'm also going to play Ariola in this game. Actually, no, I'm done. Um, it kind of depends who you are. Say, like, Sevilla versus Bayern Munich last year. If Sevilla won that, yes, the Super Cup means so much. Because it's basically the two best European clubs up against each other. Um, and if Sevilla won that, yeah, it's good. And yeah, it's good that Bayern Munich won it, but not as much because they were playing a team like Sevilla. So say if, like, even, I don't know, Newcastle got into the Super Cup winning the Europa League and were played Bayern Munich and were beat them, yeah, it means a lot, obviously. I don't know, it's just... If you are in, uh, then it's good. Yeah, totally. So, like I said, if Sevilla beat Bayern Munich, then wow. Uh, Sorry, needs to be in the team, boys. All right, let's go, Daryl Dyke, in the squad. Who's winning the Liga? To be fair, I don't even know what the the Liga title looks like this year. Table. Um, Jesus Christ, real associate. I don't even read it well. Barca only have 25 points. Um... I mean, I'm going to go Real Madrid. 
I want Atletico Madrid to win it, but I think Real Madrid will end up winning it. It's Real Madrid. They'll always come back and they'll win it like somehow, you know what I mean? Like, I want Atletico Madrid to win it, but I think it'll be Real Madrid. And I, I'm very surprised about Barca being sixth on 25 points. Very surprised. Yeah, that's the thing. I want Athletic Madrid to win it, and I feel like they do deserve to win it. But Real Madrid always find their ways. They always do. I forgot this is the cup, so I kind of need to focus a little bit more. Just a tad bit more. Oh, come on. No, no. That's one. That's been quite hard, yeah. That's been quite hard. Of all players to score, good luck. Go on, oof. It's decently close. Go on, Caviar. Mate, that centre back is so good. I hope he grows very well, like his ratings. He's already grown too much, he's, he's six foot five. Sorry. So yeah, hopefully in tomorrow's episode, uh, tomorrow night, we'll um, hopefully finish the first season, because it was already meant to be in the third season, the time wise, but things got in the way. So yeah, hopefully the and finish the first season of the and get on with the second season of and stuff. That's what I'm hoping. Looks good now. Oh. Oh, I'm glad to do it. This is all going on. This really is. Turn it on, this is no good. No good at all. Like, I don't know why, but in FIFA when you lose something, like, in the cup, it actually hurts. Like, I'm... My heart hurts, man. Like. That would, like, oh. That is useless. I, no, I think that's it. Be positive. Edward, no, just go down there. Go down there and have the free kick. You know what I mean? Obviously, if they score third, that's kind of arguably it.
Man, like, none of the teams have felt tough to play so far this career mode, but this actually feels tough to play. Oh, man. We got knocked out the Carabao Cup as well. Like, just nothing's really went away. Yet. Cup ones. What? What an opportunity you might take that. Like, pick up the ball. Hold on. Two one. Two one half time. I'll take that. Hundred percent. I'll take that. Two one half time. Come on, we can definitely do this now. Realistically, you should Daryl like be on the pitch. I know, is he kind of like a meme player? Yeah, but you know what? We'll bring Ryan Kent on later. Yeah, I think Leo will bring Ryan Cameron. But for now, this is it. Come on. Well, I feel a lot more comfortable now. Being one goal down. But penalties is going to be horrible. Unless, is it not a replay? Because if it is, that's at Craven College. If there is a replay, if we draw, that's a Craven Cottage, so that'll be such a good game. If it isn't, and it goes to pens, I'm kind of scared for that. The only penalty shot we've had, we've lost. Oh my god. Donald Dyke, oh, why did he hit him? Why is he using his head? I could have got something a lot better than that. Left us cheating. That's not good. Right, it's not geese, I'll just come on. That's not good at all. I just don't like that. Well, I think this is it where Ryan Kent has to come on. And Hyena's coming on as well. Loftus cheek going out with injury. That is just not good at all. Get them so really quick. Pretty much can't lose the ball right? Probably should have played that through there. No, don't even say he's offside. Do not. He's not offside there. I don't think Ryan Kent understands that, like, we kind of need to score now. Good one. Oh, 
No! I feel like I'm spawning. I don't believe this. I really don't. Like, boys, I'm hurt. I really am. Last ten minutes. Possibly the last couple of attacks. I do not believe what I've just said. I don't. The game's making me lose this. Oh my god, if it's gonna be somewhere. Someone go from Paul's man. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of three minutes of added time. So. This actually like hurts. Yeah. yeah. It's very annoying. It it actually kind of hurts though. Like we're not in any cups now. Unfortunate. Edward still got man the match. <laughs> Shows you how good we'll play it there. Anyway, that will be the final game of the episode. I won't end it just yet, but so well, Sheffield through Brentford are doing really well. City through United beat Everton. Yeah. Fair enough. It would have been a tough final, like final Time couple of rounds. Questions. Anyway. Um, Loftus cheeks out for three months. Oh god, that ain't good. Though you found probably his whole Thanks, loan deal done. So that isn't good. Oh, I sold. Yeah. Broken toe, loft his cheek. Not good at all. I think at this point, is it just worth buying loft his cheek? We could just buy loft his cheek. Because I think I could be him injured for pretty much the rest of the season. If I have a look. Yeah, to be fair, we don't have long left, boys. We do not have long left. See, I do actually think the Loftus Cheek's out for the rest of the season. So if we go up to him... Oh, you can only terminate the loan. I swear these were loan to buys. But, oh well. Anyway guys, we end the episode off outside of the top four, but I did sim pretty much all the Premier League games, um, got knocked out of the cup, 
the FA Cup, which is unfortunate. But tomorrow, at around 9pm, we are going to have the finale for Season 1, which is going to be very interesting. If it comes to the point I need to play the games, then I will end up playing the games, but from them, we're just going to simulate them, get the second season stored up, sign the players we need to sign everything, and it should all be good. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and especially to Retard Living for being here throughout the stream and supporting everyone else who support as well, but especially you for um, just helping pretty much yeah, since the very start of the stream, so it's been a pleasure. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.